Hey y'all, this tag was started by Teresa over at Simple Full, and I was tagged by Caitlin at Cultivating My Life and Kelly from Freedom in a Budget to talk about my biggest fear starting the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I'm gonna go ahead and tag Connie Porter. So Connie, go, do, do what you have to, get a video together, go be video. As always, I'll link everybody's channels down below and I'll go ahead and create a playlist of everybody who's done this tag so you can sit back and enjoy my biggest fear starting the Dave Ramsey plan. Wait, what? Enjoy my fear? Okay, that's a little twisted even for me. I'm having issues because my dad is like five feet away and it's making me uncomfortable. It's really hard to film around people. Okay guys, let's get a little uh, shop talk out of the way. I swear I'm going to be posting my Columbia videos. They're just slightly more visually complicated and require a lot more editing. And, and so I've been running out of time lately, but I promise you by the time you've seen them all, you'll be like, Wendy, enough with Columbia. We're done, really, seriously, stop. No, I think there's only like five videos in total about Columbia, so. But I'm I'm new to this YouTube thing and I'm still trying to get myself on a consistent video schedule so, so I don't have to film like five videos in one weekend ever again. Participated in like 10 collabs or tags in the last three week period and I honestly have never felt so popular in my whole life. It's like getting a second chance at high school and I'm that popular girl that all the boys wanted to date and all the girls wanted to be because I definitely wasn't that girl in high school. Focus, Wendy, focus. Baby steps, Dave. Okay, I'm there. My biggest fear starting the baby steps. I have to be honest, when we started in April of this year, I had no fears. Zero. Mauricio was finally on board after five years of begging and pleading. Please, Mauricio, please do the baby steps. I knew what we could do on this plan, and honestly, I just really needed him to want it as much as I did. And now he does. Really, when we first started the plan, we felt like all this excitement and enthusiasm, like, hey, look what we're gonna do. This is so exciting. Fast forward six months. We're no longer excited. And fear is actually starting to set in. Will we make enough money this month to put any extra towards that? Will I have to say no to doing something really fun again? Will we ever be able to get Melina exactly what we want for her birthday? Will I ever be able to go out on a date with my husband again? No, wait, scratch that. Will I ever actually even see my husband again? And then of course, there's my personal favorite, the giant nagging fear that baby step two will never actually end. And we will be doing this for the rest of our lives. But honestly, one fear trumps all of these. And that's the fear of, will we ever actually have enough money to do the things we want in life? See, Mauricio and I have big dreams. When we start dreaming, we dream big. Huge, in fact. And now that we're budgeting every single cent, I actually kind of know how far our salary will stretch and it's not really that far. Let me give you an example of one of our dreams, and it's probably a dream that a lot of you guys have too. If we stay in this area, ideally, we'd like to buy a house in the same town we're in now. For the sake of this video, I actually looked it up to see what the median cost of houses in this town are, because I knew it was high, I knew it's higher than the national average by far, but I didn't really know what the median is. And if you don't know what the median is, it's like you have the lowest and the highest. It's the one smack in the middle. It's a math thing, middle, just think middle. The median house in this area is $839,000. So, okay, clearly our house here is not going to be right in the middle. So we need to, if we're gonna stay in this area, we're gonna have to look towards the cheaper end. So I got on Zillow and I checked out the cheapest house in this zip code. And there is one for $245,000. I was like, oh yeah, our price range, perfect. It's a one bedroom, one bath condo that's 600 square feet. Obviously not appropriate for our situation. So I looked for an actual house on Zillow and the cheapest standalone house 
is a 1300 square foot three bedroom three bath house for wait for it four hundred and sixty five thousand dollars and let me show you what you get for almost a half million dollars in northern virginia So yeah, doing that exercise kind of freaked me out. A half a million dollars, that's insane. That's over double how much we owe. Well, I figured out the mortgage payment on that house on a 15 year fixed with a, a decent interest rate. I got out a mortgage calculator and the mortgage payment on that house would be just under $4,000 a month. And that's 4,000 a month for a 1300 square foot house. So you saw the pictures. I'm wondering where in that house could I fit my 16 person dining room table, which I love and will never ever sell. And I will buy a house around that dining room table. And before you start lecturing me about the need for a 16 person di dining room table, which I designed all by myself, it's beautiful. I love it. And if I had pictures of it, I would show them to you but you're just gonna have to wait until I get all of my stuff out of storage because the pictures I have on Facebook are not that good and they're not nearly as impressive as it actually is. So you're just gonna have to be patient, but I'll show it to you someday. Like I said, before you judge, we actually have 11 people at every single holiday. So a huge table is actually no big deal. There's frequently more than that. It definitely gets used. In fact, in the first month that we had it, I think we sat at it like six or seven times in the first month. So yeah. It's totally worth it for us because, you know, I've mentioned we're big family people. We have a lot of family over, a lot of friends. Always have people over for dinner. So if you're ever in the area, feel free, drop on in, we'll feed you. So yeah, buying a house is just one little financial goal we have. We'd also like to travel, like actual vacations, not going to visit family vacations, which are great by the way, but they're not hang out at the beach and sip daiquiris all day. They We want vacation vacations. We'd also, really like to open our own business maybe in retirement we have good jobs now and we really like them but um we've got some great ideas for businesses in the future i really could just go on for days about all the stuff we'd like to do down the road but it might just depress me when i think about it right now so i'm not gonna go on down that path so there you have it our biggest fear about this whole thing is actually more about what happens after we pay off the debt than right now so if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button down below and keep your eyes out for my next upload. It's just a few days away. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.